Founded in 1916, the PGA of America is celebrating its centennial this year and to commemorate a century of PGA's dedication to growing the game of golf. Here on Morning Drive, we'll be taking a close look at each of their 41 sections in the coming months. And next up, the Connecticut PGA section in South Glastonbury, Connecticut. Founded in 1933, it is made up of 347 members and apprentices covers most of Connecticut and the western part of Massachusetts as well, and it is under the section presidency of William Flood, Jr., and their charitable outreach activities include the Connecticut and Massachusetts Special Olympics and the First Tee of Connecticut. Two courses in ethnically diverse neighborhoods were once the jewels of Hartford's municipal park system, but economic downtimes had resulted in both the Goodwin Park and the Kenny Park golf courses falling on hard times. That's when the city turned to the Connecticut PGA section for guidance during their renovations and expertise in taking back operational ownership moving forward. The golf courses literally were not playable. It was in a great deal of uh, disrepair. Um, very little grass on some of the greens. Keeney Park had to be closed. The Department of Health condemned the clubhouse. We started from scratch. There wasn't a piece of equipment other than a cup cutter that could be located. So we purchased a half a million dollars worth of new equipment. They've helped us make a lot of the key decisions, uh, bringing in, for example, a top uh, superintendent, a top golf professional. All right, went in. I don't think they'd had a PGA professional work here in 13 or 14 years. One of the really unique parts is that uh, the city really wanted it to benefit Hartford residents. See that flag stick way out there? That's our target. And to that end, they've partnered with the Knox Foundation, and they're providing the maintenance staff labor. We're going to end up hiring probably 35 to 40 Hartford citizens between the two golf courses. It's just been fun seeing the turnaround that's happening. And the credit belongs to the city of Hartford. They put their trust and faith in the Connecticut section to help them recover their golf properties. You don't have to put your golf courses as the last priority. If you strike the right partnerships, you can come up with a self-sustainable model. We have probably 25,000 people that potentially will play golf here over the next five years. Is it tilted this way? Aim at the yellow ball. And we try to be very inclusive. All right, look at that. Right curve, right curve, right curve. Oh, look at this guy, look at this guy, look at this guy. All right, good play. We want to use the sport as a way of bringing people together. I'm looking forward to seeing you more often. So many people walk in on an everyday basis, really, and say, you know, I grew up playing here, and it's nice to see it back to somewhere I want to play again. When I got back from the Gulf War, I was afraid to leave my house for five years. Clearview Hope and Renee Powell saved my life. When I started Clearview Hope, I wanted to do all that I could to help our nation's women military veterans. Renee, with golf, you have empowered all of us, and we just cannot thank you enough. The best stories end in thanks. Share your story at thankspgapro.com.